Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 13.4 is finally here. After going through five beta stages, iOS 13.4 has been released, bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what's new with iOS 13.4, all the new features and changes that your device will get by installing the new iOS 13.4 update. One of the biggest new features of iOS 13.4 is the new folder sharing feature. So on your files app, now you will be able to share folders. Now this had been a feature with the first betas of iOS 13, but then it was removed and now is finally back. So all you gotta do is just simply go ahead and select any folder that you want to share and then you will get the little share button, which of course allows you to easily share that folder. There are new features, now Siri allows you to easily go to the home screen from anywhere on your device. So whether you're on an app or anywhere you are, all you gotta do is just open Siri and then just go ahead and say, go to home screen, go to home screen. And just like that, Siri will quickly take you back to your home screen. There are a few changes under the settings app as well. If you go to settings, you go to accessibility, you will find here Siri and now you will have an option to enable always listen for Hey Siri. Now when your device is facing face down or is covered, it won't listen for Hey Siri, but if you want that to happen, you can now enable this button right here. You will see a small change here on the wallpaper section as well. When you go to set a wallpaper on the default wallpapers of your iOS device, you can see that the light and dark logo now is on the middle of the wallpapers. It used to be on the corner. And as always, Apple is still adding more Memoji stickers. We have nine new ones on iOS 13.4. So this one right here is new, the one with the party face, the one with the computer. This one is new as well, so you have a total of nine new Memoji stickers with iOS 13.4. The toolbar on the email app has been redesigned and it's basically more useful now. You will get a delete button here. You will have a button to move the email on the folder and then you will have this button right here which allows you to reply and then you have a compose button. Now, if you tap on the reply button, from here you can also go ahead and flag this email. So if you tap on flag, then you will be able to also change the colors right there. With iOS 13.4, when you go ahead and 3D touch on a link within Safari, now you will get this new option that says open and also open in background. So you can choose whether you want to open that link on the front page here, or you just want to open it on a new tab in the background and still continue where you left. And you can also notice the link right here, apple.com and icloud.com. They used to be in a green color. Now they're just like normal with black. And also on the link here, now you can just tap anywhere you want on the link to place the cursor with iOS 13.4. This is new, just tap anywhere. You can quickly move the cursor and edit your link. There are new changes on the control center only for the devices with the home button. Now you can see the status bar right there that we see on the control center with devices with a notch. That has been added to devices with a home button as well. But there is also another difference. If you enable the airplane mode on devices with a home button, it will still show the carrier name even though you have enabled airplane mode and your device is not connected to seller, it will still display the carrier name. On the measure app, if you 3D touch on the app, you will get like two new icons. These basically have been redesigned, the measure and the level one. And if you go within the app, now you will get a new animation that asks you to scan. So this animation right here that shows you how to basically to start scanning, that's new as well with iOS 13.4. On the health app, if you go to the browse section and you just scroll all the way down, you will now have an option here to add a new account. So directly from here, just tap on there and you will be able to add a new account. Right here, we'll have a search bar where you can search for hospitals, networks, or locations. There have been some huge changes within the settings of the TV app. Now, if you go to the settings of the TV app, you, you can now enable cellular data. So if you enable cellular data right there, you have cellular. And then if you go to cellular here, you can choose between high quality 
and data saver as well so basically with data saver it will only consume up to 600 megabytes per hour that way will save you a ton of data and then right here we'll have also the option for wi-fi so you have the same high quality and data saver for wi-fi as well and then you have here so those were the streaming options and then you will have here the download option so basically they're the same thing so that for streaming this one basically the same settings as well but now for downloading so you can enable cellular data for downloading on tv right there and then you have high quality fast download and also you have high quality fast download right there so you can choose whichever you want and you can also notice that the complete set settings section of the tv app has been basically rearranged these used to be at the top and now they're at the bottom here so basically a nice rearrangement here and of course all these settings have been added with ios 13.4 and now when you're playing music and you go ahead and 3D touch on a song, you can see that now it says play last. So instead of saying play later, that has been changed and now it says play last. That's a difference right here as well. And also they have switched the shuffle and the repeat button places. I don't know why they did that, but they have been switched right here on iOS 13.4. With iOS 13.4, now you will be able to use Shazam without even having the app installed on your device. Now what you gotta do is just go to the shortcuts app and from here just tap to add a new shortcut and just search here for Shazam. And once you have found Shazam, all you gotta do is just tap on it right here and it will create this new shortcut that allows you to basically identify any song that you want without having Shazam installed on your device at all. There is also this new screen that you will get that basically asks you to automatically download music when you're added to your library. So when you see this, all you gotta do is just tap turn on and then it will do that automatically. So basically you don't have to go to the settings of the music app in order to enable this feature, but you can do that automatically from this pop-up, basically any music that you add to your library will also be downloaded automatically to your device so that you can of course listen to it offline. And when you're on the third party app now, when you want to add something to the reading list, now from here, if you go ahead and want to add something to the reading list, you will get this pop-up that asks you if you want to allow YouTube to add to the reading list. So this is new with iOS 13.4. There are also new experimental features that have been added to Safari. So if you go to the settings of the Safari app, you will find down here experimental features. If you go to advanced, you will find them right here. So there are like five or six new, I believe that Apple has added with this new software update. And something really interesting that has been found in the code of iOS 13.4 is called OS Recovery. Now this pop-up basically indicates that Apple will allow us to recover our iPhones if we have a problem by basically using a wireless connection without having to use like a computer. You can connect your iPhone to another iPhone or just do that directly from the iPhone. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but basically this has been found on the code of iOS 13.4, even though this probably will come with iOS 14. I don't believe we will see this anytime soon with iOS 13. There are some minor changes here on the Find My app as well. So if you go to the Me section, you can see that this spacing is new here. You will also get a new icon for the notifications right there. And when you go to receive la location updates right here, now they have added a dumb button, which you can of course tap to remove that screen once you're done with that. If you enable the assistive touch menu, you will see that the dwell icon has now been redesigned. So if you go right here and you wanna basically change it at that icon here, you can see that that has been redesigned as well. And also you will get some new options right here. You have pinch and rotate, which is this one right here. And you also have rotate. These are new and have been added to iOS 13.4. Another smaller change right here on iOS 13.4 on the settings app, if you go to your subscriptions, you will see now that the subscriptions icon right here are just a bit bigger. Maybe you won't notice that, but they have been like changed in size and now they are bigger than they used to be before. 
Also a minor change here on the stocks app, the Yahoo icon now has been changed and now it says Yahoo Finance. So that's basically it for this video guys, this is iOS 13.4 which finally has been released to the public after going through 5 different beta stages. So iOS 13.4 brings quite a lot of new features to iOS and of course as usual also it will bring new like performance fixes bug fixes and all that stuff which we get usually with ios updates so a pretty nice update pretty cool new features that have been added i really enjoyed this new software i have been trying it since beta 1 and it was pretty smooth and it worked flawlessly on my device so that's pretty much it for this video guys go ahead and install ios 13.4 on your device thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more ios updates videos i will see you guys on the next one